Hello everyone, welcome back to another painting tutorial. Um, this is going to be again German infantry, but more your um, middle and early war um, infantry, because uh, late war you tend to get more of the camouflage smocks and the camouflage coverings of the helmets coming in. Um, and I thought I'd do this since the new starter set has a, a bunch of German infantry, so it might uh, be helpful for people uh, branching out into uh, mid-war German infantry or new people starting the hobby and would like to have some idea on how to paint your new minis. So um, I will be putting a Soviet one up as well since half the box is Soviets, so hopefully you'll find it um interesting and helpful. My style isn't really going to win you any awards, but we'll get them on the table pretty quick with quite a few small easy steps that if you do in a batch should get you guys done within a few days. Okay so here we have our mid-war German infantryman so a pioneer in this case and he is base coated in uniform grey and you, know, you can use any base coat colour you want really um, so what we're going to do we're going to start with the uniform so basically it's going to be very similar to the late war German infantry but a few of their um, bits of the uniform change and whatnot. so we'll do this because obviously you know you got that nice um, Stalingrad enemy at the gates box coming out and you might want to be painting up your mid-war German grenadiers so um, no, here we are hopefully it will help you, help you out so what we're going to start with is the main bulk of the uniform and we're going to be doing that with uh, German field grey um, uh, Vallejo model colour paint. So we'll be doing that pretty much over the entire model so at this point don't worry about going on to bits that won't be this colour because we'll be going over that with a different colour at some point. So we'll start that and we'll see how it looks. Okay so that's the boots done. There's a little bit of a sheen on them because uh, they're still wet but when they dry they will look nice. So next we have like lots of bits and bobs on the back of this guy and on the, his belt. Um, so you're going to be using green grey for these areas so that's going to be the um, casing bit of the entrenching tool, uh, the bread bag, this little satchel on the back. Usually there's the bread, bread bag will be uh, right behind the water bottle. Um, the water, uh, water canteen, sorry, will also be green grey as well. You could do it different colours if you wanted to. This is um, my preference and it just makes it easier grouping a lot of things the same colour. So we'll do that and we'll get back. Okay, so it kind of blends in with the rest of the uniform, but you can just about make it out there. So you've got the entrenching tool, the little uh, knapsack by there, and the water bottle. Um, so normally, um, these models will have um, magazine um, pouches for the magazines for the MP40. Um, can't see it on this model, but if, you, if well, obviously they're visible, use a stone grey on it, another Vallejo colour. But since I can't show you that step, there's a little bundle on the back as well. Most of your German infantry will have it. Uh, we're going to be doing that German camouflage uh, beige. So we'll do that and then you'll be able to see it a bit clearer then. Okay, so you just make it out just below the uh, a little bit on the top there. You can see it there, that little bundle. So we're going to make a start on the skin now. So we're going to be using um, Corax white base but any white base will do for this stage because we're going to be applying a contrast paint over it later. Okay, so that's done. So we're going to leave that dry um, for another time. So what we're going to do now, we're going to be looking for wooden bits on the model. So this one, um, the only really one you can do on this MP40 is the handle, which we're not going to be able to see. But on the rifles, most of it's wood. And then look for any entrenching tools and um, sticks at uh, the end, the handle bit for the grenade sticks, um, which you won't be able to see on this model either. And we're going to be using Contrast Wildwood. Again, I, I quite like their uh, Wildwood um, Contrast uh, paints. Um, looks really good on um, the rifles and really gets into the nooks and crannies and enables you to get out the metal areas uh, later on. So we'll do that and then we'll look how, see how it looks. Okay, so just on the entrenching tool for this model, you can see it still, as you can see a bit of sheen because it's still wet. So hopefully now the white areas are dry because we're going to be using another contrast paint. It will be a uh, Gilliman flesh. Uh, it does leave quite a good finish on the flesh areas, um, but make sure the areas are dry. So we'll do that next and see how it looks. 
Okay, so that is the skin areas done, so now we're going to be moving on to the metal areas. So if you have a rifle, uh, check some images to see which bits are metal. The MP40 is easy, it's pretty much all metal. Um, belt buckles, and we're also going to be doing the little container at the top there, uh, in this metallic colour, and the top of the water canteen. And for that I'm going to be using Army Painter Gun metal, it's a nice dark metallic colour and I think it looks quite uh, good on uh, these 15mm uh, minis but any metal will do, like gun metal, lead belcher, etc. So we'll do that and see how it looks. Okay, so metal areas are done and on the back as well. So next up is all the belts, braces and straps and we're going to be using contrast Kygo brown. So normally I use um, another brown citadel colour, but it's all dried up. And this one's been working quite well. Remember, make sure you give it a good mix. Okay, so that's all the belt and straps done. You can see it on the back area as well. So last stage of the model now is to give a model a wash with Agrax Earthshade. I know there's other details on the collar and the epilepsy you could do tend to leave them out um, on, on the table you can't see them that much and again we're not aiming to win any painting competitions we're just uh, trying to get our, our little toys on the table as quick as we can with uh, acceptable conditions there you go folks that is the Agrax shade done and it's nice and finished so remember if you want to add a little bit more detail to the model go ahead um, just look up your reference material, go on Google, look at like your history books for markings of what particular unit you'd like to do. But for me, I'm uh, more or less content with uh, this stage. And, you know, as you can see, nice simple to get where we are. So there we go. All you need to do now is the extra 50 or so you have for the rest of your company. So until then, stay safe and uh, hope you found this helpful.